why you decided to play the like, character Susie? Say, say that again? Why you decided to play Susie? Why you decided to play Susie? Okay. Um, I think that I had heard about Stranger Things before it had ever come out. And it was because everyone I knew was auditioning for it back when it was going by this code name Montauk. Um, and it was based off of the stuff that happened in Montauk, Long Island, all of the studies and experiments that were conducted. Um, and so everyone was like, yeah, have you auditioned for Montauk? Like, they're looking for kids. Um, and I was like, what is this Montauk? Like, and as soon as Stranger Things came out, um, everyone kind of connected that a lot of the scenes were the same and they were like, oh, it was for Stranger Things. And so when I auditioned for Susie in the third season, I read the audition scene and I obviously knew Gaten was gonna be the scene partner that I had. And I, I think I just remember thinking, oh my gosh, I get to sing and I get to sing with Gaten. And that, it would be such an incredible thing to get to do and have recorded, especially because we grew up together, Gaten and I. Uh, we met when I was eight, seven or eight, uh, and we were both kids on Broadway together. And he was in Les Mis, and I was doing my own show, and we basically just became the best of friends. We would play outside on the streets together. Um, and I think growing up with him really made me appreciate the show for what it was, uh, because all of the kids I knew before it even started, and it was something really great to get to do, uh, and I knew I had to get Susie because, one, I love the original Never Ending Story song and the movie, and two, I mean, getting to do it with one of my best friends is like an incredible way to reunite, and so I was super determined, and I ended up getting it, and that was just like the ultimate win. I was so excited. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much. All right, next up, I think that she likes your shirt. I, yeah, I, th I think I do. All right, what's your name? Don't be, don't be afraid to take the mic and tilt it downward so you can uh, be heard as well. All right, so what is your name and what is your question? My name is Haley, and my question is, did you want to play Susie or did you want to play another role? So the question is, did you want to play Susie or did you want to play another role? That's interesting. All right. Ah. I feel like I, I definitely really wanted to play just anyone in the show, but specifically Susie because of the singing and because of how fun and funny and quirky it can get, like having dialogue with her as a character. Um, but I think that I also, if I had to choose, I would really want to be one of the people that they got to do the effects for the Demogorgon or the Demodogs any of those, like, I feel would be so fun to get to try and do. I know they had people uh, going around as the Demodogs in season two, and they, they actually, like, did all of the effects on them, and I think that that would be super, super fun. Obviously, no one can outdo Mark, who is the original Demogorgon. Uh, he is really great and really terrifying at doing that. Um, but I think that getting to do one of those would be cool. And then of course, I mean, all of the other women in the show have really incredible storylines and any of the roles that I could have auditioned for, I would have. And I feel like it, it, it really wouldn't be the same. Uh, and I really love the people that they got for everything that they did because I feel like they all make it so unique to them and, um, and, and really, enhance the show. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. All right, next up. Hi, I'm Michelle. Hi, I'm Michelle. We met yesterday. Yes. <laughs> um, I wanted to know if you could tell us a little of like the backside of when you recorded Never Ending Story and if you guys were actually together when you recorded it and like how you guys did that scene a little bit and just how all that came together, were you with them or were you in a different room right. and just how that all happened and did you have fun with it? Were they kind of making fun of him when this? Or how all this happened? Did you have fun or like just tell us a little bit of backstory? Yeah, 
Okay, so the funniest thing that most people don't realize is that we sang the Never Ending Story song together, Gaten and I. We sang it many, many times. It was a 12 hour day around, maybe a little bit longer. Um, and we basically were just doing that part for almost the entire day. Um, and we were singing it all live. They wanted to do it live. They wanted it to sound like two kids from a science camp who really weren't great at singing, but just were having fun with it. So they really wanted to get the live vocals for that, uh, just in case we slipped in anything like fun or cute. Um, and after a while, we started getting really exhausted from singing and like my voice was giving out, his voice was giving out. Uh, but it was really, really fun getting to do that. Um, and most people think that we went to a recording studio or like kind of had to like be with each other to do that. But I just had an earpiece in and Gaten was back in another set and I could hear him and he would sing along with me. And then I did the same thing when he was on the hill, uh, which actually is right outside the set, just in a parking lot. Um, with a blue screen, and he, I sang for him, and basically that's how it ended up being, is it was the two of us just a few feet away from each other, singing to each other all day long. Um, but I, I gotta say, having Gaten in my ear all day long, I was never tired, never bored, uh, could not get annoyed by that, no. Very cool, thank you. Yes, thank you. All right, next up, what's your name and what's your question? Hi, my name is Alexis, and Hi. my question is, what was your I made it moment? Oh, I made it moment. Ooh. I feel like, especially in terms of Stranger Things, I feel like it has to be, uh, as a teenager, seeing <laughs> the sound of Never A New Story become like such a, a viral thing and a, and a huge moment. Um, I remember people started writing articles about it just because it was a huge viral thing and like Millie created the Never Ending Story Challenge uh, and a lot of it was really just a totally bigger and, and, and more I guess successful than I thought it was going to be. I thought, um, yeah, of course, people are going to love hearing Gate and sing. The whole point of writing that scene was because so many fans were begging to hear one of the Broadway kids actually sing in the show. And it made so much sense to have Gate and do that. And I was like, oh, this is the perfect scene and people are gonna love it. Um, but I had no idea that it was going to be as big as it was in terms of just like the song being used for a lot of things. Um, and I think like the full I made it was just like getting to see Gaten and I like kind of recreate this song that already existed and like really get such positive feedback about it. Um, Cause I, I really do feel like the original song was such a staple of my childhood, having two parents who grew up with that. Um, and, and so getting to get such a positive reaction about that was like, totally fulfilling, and it was great. Thank you. Yeah, of course. All right, next up, what's your name? What's your question? Hi, I'm Allison, we met yesterday. Yes, oh my gosh, hi. Hi. Um, speaking of Broadway, what is your favorite musical? Ooh, okay. I have so, so many. I have so many. Um, I love Sweeney Todd, which Gaten is in on Broadway right now. So that's very, very exciting. And Gaten and I had had so many conversations about how much we loved that show before there was even word of, of him getting to be a part of, of a Broadway production of it, which I think is really, really funny. Um, and I also really love Ragtime, Little Shop of Horrors. Um, I saw someone dressed as Seymour the other day and it was so awesome. And I've always said 
uh, you know, Gaten and I, our go-to like karaoke song uh, is actually not Never Ending Story when we're together. Um, it's Suddenly Seymour. So it's like, it's really fun to get to see other people who are here be dressed as like people from, from that world as well, even though Little Shop is also a movie. I think that uh, The Cross, uh, I love any just like horror musicals and the, and the crossing of, of how that works. Uh, so getting to be here and see people who actually know that makes me so happy and I love it. Hey, stay up here real quick. I want you to just turn around for a second and face the audience. So look at her shirt. She's wearing a shirt for the Losers Club from It. Yes. So I'm going to ask Susie, or I'm going to ask Gabrielle a question about this shirt. So I asked the It guys the same question yesterday. Oh. There's a lot of movie franchises that are about 80s bike riding kids, that young teens that are about to save the world. You got Super 8 and the Goonies, yeah. and It, and Stranger Things. To you, what makes the group in your movie better than all the rest? Whoa, okay, okay, okay. Okay, you can sit down, you don't have to stand there. I, <laughs> I wasn't trying to embarrass you, I, just, I saw your short like that, just, I already had that question 